Sticky ribs. Another time you have to lick your fingers after you're done eating. Focus on you, I'm into that shit! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted, and in today's episode, we are going to be making sticky ribs. I love ribs. I love when things are sticky. We gotta, you know, lick the fingers, get in there. But we're gonna do them in an Instapot. Why? Because I don't wanna wait three fucking hours for ribs. 25 minutes is a lot of work. So three hours is just asking too much. Anyway, we are going to get started by making the rub. Rub, not rub it, not, yep, never mind. Chili powder, a little bit of ginger. Jay's favorite. I still can't get over the fact that it says oriental mustard on it. Like it just blows my mind. For the record, Jay hates mustard. I think we've covered that. <laughs> a little cinnamon, some parsley flakes, onion powder, coriander, garlic powder, some smoked paprika, some pass me the brown sugar. Brown sugar. Some salt and some pepper. I was gonna Mexican fry it, but I decided not to. Get in there, fist it. In our Instapot, we are going to take some ginger and all we're gonna do is slice it up. Throw it in. We got some garlic. Just gonna beat, smash, smash, and smash. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of rice vinegar. And we're gonna finish it off with some just water. So this will act as a steamer for our ribs. Now, ribs, we are going to take our rub and we are going to rub it off, rub on, 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 not off. Rub it out, rub one out. <laughs> Keep playing music. Nice, this is getting good. We are going to take our ribs, we are going to put them in and we are basically wrapping the ribs. We want the meat facing out of the Instapot and creating a hole that we could put our fist in. But there is a hole. And my fist fits in there. From here, it's pretty simple. Hit a pressure cooker. We're gonna go down to a whole whopping 25 minutes. And we are going to let it start. 25 minutes, we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes, 10 minutes before we release the pressure. And then we are going to throw it under the broiler put some sauce on it, throw it under the broiler, and eat some sticky ribs with our fish tacos. Oh, that was two weeks ago. So we'll see you in 25 minutes. So our Instapot is done. We are going to shut it off and we are going to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then we'll release the pressure. But in the meantime, we need to make our sticky sauce, not that kind of sticky sauce. We got our soy, we got just a dash of sesame, don't kill with your sesame. Some hoisin. Some ghost pepper honey. You can use sriracha, sambal, a little bit of Monica in my life. We're gonna add some garlic, chopped garlic. Some ginger, get in there. Get that all mixed together. So it's off. We're going to release. Just got the shit out of me. Release the Kraken. I'm just waiting for the little red button to drop. That means that it's completely depressurized. Oh. 
So we've got a parchment lined sheet tray with a rack. Our ribs are going to come out in pieces, which is fine, which means that they're nice and fine. That's like McRib style right there. And this is only 25 minutes in an Instapot. So it's not like it took very long. But we want to make them sticky. Not in a gross way. So I'm going to get some of this sauce. Baby God sauce. So we are going to get these under a broiler and get some sticky. Fresh out the broiler. We got our ribs. Pew! And then we can take you know, whatever little sauce we got left over. We're gonna finish it off with some sesame. Just some white and some black, even though you really can't see the black ones. But. <laughs> So we got our sticky ribs. You know, the great thing about stuff like this is being able to cut the time in an Instapot rather than having to cook something for three hours to get, and waiting and waiting and waiting where you can do it in the Instapot in roughly about 35 minutes. Just makes a world of difference. It's juicy, it's sticky, it's got a little bit of spice to it. Easy, 35 minutes, you got a great dinner for you, the kids, maybe some fun afterwards with the wife. And I will talk to you guys next time. Much love, like, subscribe, notify, ring the bell, and keep eating.